Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Josie. Today is another back to shooting video showing you a uh, video review, re review of my uh, airsoft rifle. Now let's take a look at this and guess what the gun is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna throw a night T10 case here. What is inside? Not a flashlight, don't worry. <laughs> Okay, what is this? What is this? What is this? Okay, let's take a look at the gun. Da -da. Now this is long, guys. Look at that. <laughs> okay, this is the rifle we're going to review today. Look at that. Huge and long World War II weapon. Wow. It's done nicely. Very nicely with... Uh, some fake wood pattern and you know what guys the wood pattern is totally amazingly done when I first got this rifle on the mail and took it out of the box I thought this is real wood I was trying to sand it and see if the wood is real <laughs> now it's not real wood I know okay it's plastic but it, it's really 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 well done the wood is really realistic I mean if no one tell you that this is fake wood. Just put it on uh, on a wall like that. It looks exactly like real wood. Wow, amazing. And also the um, finish on the bolt right here, as you can see. Not sure if you can really see, but let me give you some light. Oh, wow, light. Ah, okay. Let's look at the bolt here. You see how nice the, the finish is? It's so, so realistic. Yep, this is a, a bolt action and also shell ejecting rifle. You can put the shell in and okay, pr pull the trigger, push, and it can go back in place without cocking the gun. Okay, so, yeah. so this is actually a super fun rifle. I have not been shooting my airsoft guns for a long, long time, and today I decided to pick up a gun. So this is the first gun I have in mind. It's not my favorite type of rifle. It's, I mean, like, okay, I have bad eyesight. When I aim with these things, my, like when I aim the normal way, okay, without a scope, my right eye cannot, cannot really see through here to there. It's like almost impossible to aim. Seriously, like I can't even see the notch right here. So I need to go on the other side like that and then put my head a little bit forward so I can really see that notch and finally I can aim. This is like not the kind of rifle I will like. So yeah, like the M14 and stuff like that, it's really hard for me to aim. So whenever there's a rifle, I need a scope. I like even for shooting at 20 feet, I still need a scope. The, the eyesight just don't allow me to do it. So too bad, but yeah, let's take a look at how this thing works, okay? Now you'll be amazed because I'm not shooting normal airsoft BBs. I am shooting glass BBs today. Okay, I'll show you the bottle, but that's how you that, uh, rack back the bolt. Okay, put this in here like that. It locks in place. And now let's take a few more. Okay, like that. Ooh. There's a spring there. Whoops. You see, it just loads like a firearm. Super cool. Now, just from the operation part the, the plugging bullet part it's already a joy to shoot you know you don't even need to shoot the gun accurately to feel the joy you know just putting bullets in is already one kind of enjoyment now the spring this is a spring operated rifle when you push the bow back the spring will go go and compress and when you lock it the spring locks in place. When you pull the trigger, of course it fires. Now let me just fire this round out. I okay, hope I don't fire at the wrong place. Uh, okay, good. No accident. Now let's take a look at the action right here. Okay, typical stuff. The bullet is stuck inside. 
<laughs> you see how fun this is. Sometimes things just stuck, you know? Just like a real firearm, it's stuck. Okay, cool. Now let me try to not pick up a bullet. Okay. Just trying to get that bullet back in. There we go. And okay, now it sticks that bullet back out. Can you see? Wow! <laughs> this is a fruit jar. <laughs> so, so let me show you. This is the glass BB. Oh my, where's my light? Just turned it off. Okay, my light again. You need that light. So this is, ooh, so small. This is glass BB, okay? They are 0 0.29 grams. Um, compared to normal BB, it's 0 0.2 grams. Some of them are 0 0.28, 0 0.29, something like that. Aluminum BBs, I have uh, a bunch up there. Uh, they are 0 0.3 grams. So these are a little bit lighter than aluminum. Uh, from experience, they are also a tiny bit uh, smaller in size, okay? So, um, yeah, the aluminum BBs, they will get stuck with this uh, this shell here. When I put alum aluminum BBs, they become too tight. So when you try to shoot it, sometimes it just cannot shoot the BB out. I tried some um, Matrix Man brand BBs. They are kind of too tight too. So they are kind of picky. You need to find the right type of BB to use with your shells. Okay guys, let's take a look at the air gun, the, the trap, and we'll be shooting a target. Target. Okay guys, we're at 25 feet. Now shooting our first load of five. Let's check it out, 25 feet with my poor eyesight. Five shot, not bad. Iron sight with my super poor eyesight is doing very good. It is still grouping around here, which is pretty cool. It just kind of, I think the site is misaligned and that's why it's kind of doing this right here. Uh, we'll try to aim a little bit to the right. Let's see what happens. Wow, guys, it just grouped right here. Holy. It for today, and as you can see, this rifle is doing pretty well as an airsoft rifle. Shooting at 25 feet, it's definitely grouping. And um, my conclusion is, this is super tiring. <laughs> it's very tiring, it's very heavy. Uh, even though I'm trying to get something to rest my hand and the rifle on, it's still very heavy. Um, also, by doing this all the time, when you're trying to push the thing back, it does take a lot of effort to do. Whereas compared to my uh, APS APM50, you can really do it effortlessly because uh, all you're doing is just 
punching shells in and punching shells out and stuff like that. It's much, much, much easier with a gas uh, rifle, whereas the spring thing, you really have to push it in hard. So it's a quite a bit of workout doing that. Um, compared to the uh, L96 from Wells that I have tried, the kind of effort is different. That one, you feel the spring when you pull back. Now this one, you feel the spring when you push it back in. I personally will prefer push in like this one. It actually makes more sense to the brain somehow. And when you're trying to pull and eject that thing out, it helps uh, to really make that bullet or shell fly out rather than just trying to like, you know, like that. So it's a very, very fun uh, experience with this thing. <laughs> um, personally, I like shell ejecting stuff. The APS APM50 is better and more fun, but this one gives you a little bit of the like old fashioned kind of fun. So sometimes you see uh, bullets jammed, <laughs> you need to like try to do stuff to unjam and stuff like that. That's kind of kind of fun experience with the airsoft gun like that. It's cool. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye bye.